refrigerator. One of my favorite problems. Okay, a refrigerator is one-fifth full of cans. When nine cans are put in, the fridge is now seven-tenths full. What is the capacity of the refrigerator? Okay, let's go see if we can figure this out. So at the beginning of time, the refrigerator is one-fifth full of cans. So it has some kind of capacity. Let's let x equal capacity of the fridge, because that's the unknown. And so this equation would start off with the capacity only being one-fifth full. One-fifth capacity, because the refrigerator is one-fifth full of cans. Then we put nine in, which would be an adding problem, because we put an additional nine cans into the refrigerator. And now it is seven-tenths full. It doesn't have seven-tenths of a can in there. It's seven-tenths of capacity filled. So we get an equation that says one-fifth x plus nine equals seven-tenths x. Okay, the technique I'm going to choose to use here is the multiplication property of equality, multiplying by the least common denominator of all of the fractions. So the only fractions we really see are one-fifth and seven-tenths, although nine is technically nine over one. But the least common denominator, or multiple of five, one, and ten, would be the number 10. So 10 times 1 fifth x would be 2x plus 10 times 9, which is 90, and then multiplying on the other side of the equation also, 10 times 7 tenths is just 7. So we get 7x. Now let's uh, isolate the variable, unwrap our present, so we're going to subtract 2x from both sides to collect all of the x's together. On the right, 7x minus 2x would be 5x. Then we can divide by 5, and this will yield 90 divided by 5, which is 18, and 5x divided by 5, which just leaves me with x. Or as I often like to write this, I prefer to write it as x equals 18 by the symmetric property of equality. Okay, why don't you try one on your own here? Suppose that a jug is half full, and then seven gallons are put into the jug, and it is now three quarters full. What is the capacity of the jug? So yet again, we'll start with an assignment of a variable. Let's say that x is the capacity of the jug. I guess in gallons this time. And then we'll start off with the jug is half full, so it's half of its capacity. Then seven are put in, so that's an adding of a seven. And now it's three-fourths full, so we get a three-fourths x. Now, if you like the way that I do these, I like to multiply by the least common denominator of all the fractions, so between two 4 and the tacit 1 this time, 4, 4 times a half x would be 2x, plus 4 times a 7 would be a 28, and then 3 fourths of 4 is just 3, so we get 3x, and then in order to isolate the variable to collect or to find out what our present is, we're going to subtract 2x from both sides, and that'll leave us with 28 equals 3x minus 2x, which is just x. Again, I usually like to write this as x equals 28, but it's a non-issue. It still represents the same solution.